G'day guys, welcome to Yeah Now Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today we're going to talk about lipsticks that are still currently available in stores and online. And I'm going to put them on my lips and swatch them for you guys. If you're interested in seeing what I'm about to show you, stay tuned. Guys, when you don't record for a while, you get so rusty and it's like you want to be like your natural self, but it's hard to be like your perfect natural self when your natural self literally fumbles over every second word. So like, oh my god, just give me a moment. Alright, so today what I thought that we would do is we would swatch every lipstick that I currently have in my stash, kind of like a shop my stash sort of thing. Um, every lipstick that I'm going to show you is currently available now, either in store or online, especially in Australia. Um, some of the lipsticks are going to range like drugstore, like, um, I don't know, Revlon, Maybelline, um, Australis, Colourpop, um, and then we'll go to like some Jeffree Star stuff. I don't have real expensive lipsticks, but these video, these types of videos are for those people who don't get out a lot or don't like to spend a lot of money or are unsure about what lipstick is going to look good on them. So um, I thought if I put them on myself, um, you guys can sort of like get a little bit of a judge for yourself. I do a lot of looking at lipsticks online and um, to see whether they'll sort of suit me. And I haven't seen too many videos where it's been different brands, like all different brands, a whole bunch. Like it's fine to sit there and watch like all of the colours from one brand, like you know, um, one line or one release. But I thought that I would give you guys completely different shades and some of them are very similar but um yeah for anybody who's interested who has similar skin tone as me i'm cool uh toned so if that helps and these are just the colors that i like to wear so like i said they're available please remember guys that i'm not a makeup guru i'm i'm just somebody who really enjoys makeup enjoys putting makeup on i'm not fantastic at it but this video is just to give you an idea of what's out there right now and just some of the shades from some of the ranges and some of the brands and yeah. Let's just get on with it. Alright, so what I currently have on my lips at the moment isn't too like in your face, but in sunlight it is just like, it's phenomenal. And it is this Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fussy. This is, this is new. This is new to my stash and I am absolutely loving this. Um, I was a little bit adamant about spending $30 on this because I'm like really $30 for a lip gloss and I'm not even a fan of lip gloss you know like normally I don't really like that tacky mm, you know you know what I'm talking about but this feels really good like it's um I can definitely feel that I'm wearing it um, and it's got that sort of like oil slip but it's not like I'm not worried that it's gonna get all over my face and um, and ruin the rest of my makeup so I mean I'll put a little bit more on for you guys but um, this is the wand absolutely love it so I'm gonna grab my little mirror mmm and it smells really good too like you're gonna <laughs> a lot of my lipsticks that I actually have smells like cake so I don't mind I don't mind at all so anyway this is Fenty gloss bomb in fussy let's move on now I've tried to make sure that these are swatched in sort of like lightest to darkest but it's really hard because some of them stain more than others and so yeah, so mm, I've done my best. Alright, so the next lipstick we're going to put on is a um, Colourpop lipstick or a lip crayon actually called Just a Tint in the shade Small. So this smells far out this the oh this smell it does smell like peach but it smells like how do I explain this there used to be like a cheap and nasty soft drink that you could get at the supermarket and it smelled like this and I don't even want to say that it was peach soft drink because it was never called peach soft drink but maybe like tropical just brings me back. Now look, I don't actually really like peaches. I don't even like the peach tone on my lips, not really. But I saw this advertised. Um, I did a lot of swatch videos. Uh, sorry, I watched a lot of swatch videos. And this one kept on pulling me in. And although I, 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 I don't love this, I do enjoy it on different days, depending on my makeup. So this one, let's try this one. It's not, it's not gonna, it's not a lot of, 
there's not a lot of color payoff with this one so There we go guys, so this is just a tint from Colourpop in the colour or the shade Small, Gimme Small, sorry. I enjoy wearing this, in fact, I, I mean I think I think it's flattering, but I don't know, like I, I really like purple. I really like movies and mo movies, mo I like movies. I really like the shade purple and mauve, so, or purpley mauve, um, and that's what you're going to see a lot of today. This next one that I have is a little mini from Clinique and it is in the shade Bear Pop. Um, this is really quite a sheer formula and I really, really enjoy wearing this. Um, I've worn this over other shades and it just seems to complement everything that I put it over. But I'm going to put it on Bear for you guys today. I just love it for a grab and go. Like, you know, you're... Sometimes I just like to leave the house with just mascara and some sort of lipstick, but I don't necessarily want like BAM or anything like that. So those sorts of days where I just I just want to throw something on and go, I'll genuinely reach for this. And um, yeah, I haven't gone out and brought the full size of this bad boy yet because personally I think it's too expensive. Um, I do enjoy it, but it's not my favourite, so it's hard for me to sort of want to splash out. It is good, don't get me wrong, it is good. Um, but yeah, I don't know, there are a lot of other cheaper options out there, so I've sort of been like hiding this away and just using it only occasionally because I really do enjoy it. And um, yeah, so let's try this bad boy on. Hmm. Oh, I really do like this. Mm. It seems to have like some sort of, I don't know, it doesn't have um, glitter in it, but it's got like this pearl, I don't know, when the sun hits it, it just sort of, it pops, and I really enjoy this, and I don't even know what to call this, like it's like, it's like a pink and a peach and a mauve, I don't know guys, but this is Bear Pop, and I really, really enjoy this shade, and it changes when you put it over something else, it just gives that other lipstick just a little bit more pow, I don't know, so, I love this guys, this is Clinique's Bear Pop. The next shade that I've got for you is by a brand called Style London. Now, I can't even tell you what shade this is verbally because the sticker on the bottom has fallen off. Now, I got this in a um, beauty subscription box. I think it was Bella Box and um, mm, yeah, I really do enjoy the packaging. Um, but I hate that I can't tell what shade it is. Anyway, let's put this on. Um, this is not one that I would actually go out and physically buy myself. I mean, it was okay to receive in a Bella box, whatever, especially um, being a makeup item, but it's just not like my everyday, like, I don't reach for this very often. I don't think it's horrible, but it's just, hmm. And I mean, yeah, it's got that cheap, sorry, it's got that cheap smell to it, like, you know, you go to the $2 shop and pick up a lippy just because you're on the run kind of smell. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's put this on. This is uh, Style London. Shade something. <laughs> Alright. There you go. Now. The shade's not my favourite. Me, personally, I don't know, maybe you guys like it. The formula, hmm, I don't know. Like, it goes on fine, but it feels like 10, 15 minutes goes by and that that line, you know, um, where the lip sort of connects the gummy sort of area, it becomes very obvious and streaky and I don't know. I just, I don't like the way that this sits on my lips. I don't like the way that this... Uh, a little bit accentuates the lines in my lips. I don't really like the colour. I don't know. I think it's just the tone. I don't like the tone. I don't know. 
I mean, I'm, I'm feeling it sometimes. I mean, if I was going to... I don't wear lipstick a lot, guys. So, I mean, I guess if I was wearing lipstick every single day and I was wearing makeup every single day and I wanted to switch out my lip colour every single day, I would probably use this a lot more. But on a day-to-day -day basis in a natural life, um, or my natural life, it's not something that I gravitate towards and I would only sort of pull it out if I needed it to complete a particular look um, if I was doing something like really extreme on the eyes and I don't know all my other lipsticks that I really loved were out of date or turned or the kids got to I don't know if this was there it would be like the saving grace but it's not it's not like mm, yeah I'm probably gonna pass this along after this video so <sighs> that's how I feel about that but this is Style London in the shade let's hope that I can tell you up here Alright guys, the next one is a lip pencil, um, but it's not like a lip liner. You can use it as a lip liner, but it, you can fill it all in as well. This is by Maybelline, it's a colour drama pencil, it's in the shade um, 140 Minimalist. And um, I brought this shade because I was, I was erring on the side of caution because I'd never tried anything like this. It's sort of like when I started getting back into makeup, I saw these and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to get one of these. And I actually have two of these. I have... Um, I have Minimalist and I have this purple shade here, which I'll do a little bit later, called Pink So Chick. Now it's called Pink So Chick, but personally I think it's more purple than anything. But anyway, let's move back to this one. Um, I'm keeping this because I don't mind it as a backup, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass. I actually don't have a sharpener that can sharpen this right now, so it's, it is very ugly. So I do apologise right now for its... um. It's utter ugliness, but anyway, let's get this bad boy on, and um, we'll see how we go. You are going to notice that I call all my lipstick bad boys, so can't help it. Mm, it's a habit. This is hard to put on because it needs to be sharpened. I don't know what I was thinking when I brought this. I did swatch it and I swatched it in stores but what I found out recently, um, well not too recently, but what I found out is that the lights that they can have in particular stores, when you swatch things it's not true to colour so you can look at something and go oh yeah I want this and then you can actually put it on in daylight and it just looks completely different and that's how I feel about this. Although, although I don't think it's a horrible colour, it's not something that I would normally gravitate towards. I mean I'm feeling like millennial Barbie pink um, it's not, it's not really my jam, and like I said, I don't really hate it. I love the formula, I really do. I love these things, and I think that they're fantastic. Um, but I don't love this colour, and um, yeah, it's another one that I'm probably going to give away. But um, just family, I mean, I've got some family who don't mind using my lipsticks after I have, which is a bonus, because I mean, otherwise I'm just going to throw them in the bin. So this one's going to go bye-bye, it's out of my stash. Um, but yeah, if you like it, this is Maybelline's Colour Drama in Minimalist. The next lipstick I have for you is a Jeffree Star lipstick in the colour Christmas Cookie. This is new to my stash and I'm absolutely loving Jeffree's uh, formula. I do apologise if some people don't like Jeffree um, himself, but I try not to get into the drama side of the beauty community and I just enjoy the makeup. So I do have this and I love this formula and um, yeah, let me just put her on. Give it a bit of a shake. Just remember to shake your liquid lipsticks before you put them on, guys. Now, I paid $28 for this. It's, it's one of my more expensive lipsticks. But in saying that, you can pick up a drugstore lipstick for $28 if you don't get it on special. And I find that this formula, it just, it speaks for itself. So let's put her on. This is Christmas cookie. Doesn't smell like anything either. It kind of just smells like paint. But I ain't mad. Now guys, these may not be perfect swatches because like I said, I am not a beauty guru. Um, 
But alright, so what can I tell you about this? This is a very thin formula. I love the way that it goes on. I love the feel of the doe foot. It just seems that the doe foot applicator puts on the perfect amount of product. Um, you don't generally need to dip in twice. In fact, I would suggest that you don't dip in twice. This will dry down to be completely matte and for the most part, it won't budge most of the day. I love the formula of these guys. Um, as for the colour, I don't mind the colour. I think that um, for an everyday sort of shade, I really enjoy Christmas cookie, um, especially depending on what look that I have on for that day. But it's another one of those ones where if I'm going out, I'm going to be out for a long time and I don't want to have to be retouching my lipstick. This is what I would put on, something like this. Slap it on, don't worry about it, let's go. Um, I do suggest generally though, like with these liquid lipsticks, they do dry down. And um, so if you're wearing liquid lipsticks for a long period of time, it can damage your lips. I generally exfoliate before I put this on and then I may even dab just a little bit of um, uh, lip balm. Not much because you don't want to change the formula of this but just like a little little dab just before you put it on and you're good to go. So I absolutely love this. This is Jeffree Star's Christmas cookie. Alright, so my lips are starting to get a little bit red from the um, swatches so I've just put a little bit of concealer on over them just a tiny tiny bit so it doesn't affect the colour. So, the next shade that we are going to go to is NYX, um, I can't, I can't remember which formula this is, but I will look it up, it'll be on the screen somewhere. This is in the shade Minimalism, so, that's this one here. I haven't worn this in quite some time because I've picked up so many other lip, good lip, uh, because I've picked up so many other lipsticks in the meantime and um, it's just sort of faded into the background. I don't hate this colour, I just, I'm enjoying my other lipsticks a little bit better than this one, so let's put this guy on. I don't like the smell of this one either. It's not horrible. Um, now, this one also feels very thin. And, I don't know, it's like, it's thin, but I'm almost concerned that it's going to smudge um, outside the lip line, and so I would probably actually wear a lip liner with this sort of thing. I think that's the reason why I sort of skipped over it a little bit, because although I enjoy the colour, um, I do kind of feel... I do like like a, a comfort matte um, or a, a demi matte, I guess, um, a little bit more than this sort of like silky, satiny feeling. Like I, I do enjoy a good satin, but I think uh, I like satins to be just that little bit thicker. Where this thin formula to me almost feels like a um, like a tinted gloss, and I don't know. I just I don't know. It's just not my favorite. I do love the I do love the color. Um, I feel like it's a little bit, it's, to me, it's like pinky mauve, but with a little bit of a grey tinge to it. So I do enjoy it, but it's just not something I reach for all the time. I can't remember how much I paid for this guy, um, and obviously it'll be on the screen, but um, my town has just gotten rid of Nick's out of stores. I don't know why, I'm still trying to figure it out, it's annoying, but whatever. There we go. This is NYX in Minimalism. Alright, so I have another NYX lipstick, and it's a very similar shade, but it's in a different formula. This is the Matte Rouge... Uh, the... This is a matte formula. So, um, this is in the shade Natural or Neutral. It's got two names underneath, so pff, whatever. Let's give it a go. I brought this one because it was a similar shade to the other one, but it said it was matte. Um, so, as you can see... I mean, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison very soon for you guys anyway, so you'll be able to see. It is a little bit different, um, but this is the first matte that I tried out, so... Hmm. See, I even love just putting a matte on more than I do any other formula. I don't know. Not a very good application, but you get the gist, yeah? Alright, so this one, obviously it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more in your face. Uh, it's a little bit pinker, I would say, yeah, definitely. It's a little bit more pinker, still that sort of mauvey pink sort of colour, but I absolutely love it. Um, I have to be in the mood to wear this one, it depends on my eye look for the day. Look, all of these are going to depend on my eye look for the day, but I do enjoy this formula. I just forget to reach for it. What can I say?
This is NYX Matte in Natural. The next lipstick I want to show you is a Revlon lipstick. It is from the Ultra HD Matte Lip Mousse line, and this is the shade Death Valley. This is definitely a little bit different, and I I, de <laughs> I do love this, but once again, I really have to be in the mood to wear this. Um, I think I sort of pull this out, you know, in autumn, or what do you call that in America, fall. Um, I do enjoy this, I do enjoy the formula. It's just, it depends on my mood. I don't even know if it looks any good on me, but it depends on my mood. So, it smells like cake, like cake with way too much frosting. Oh, not a big fan. I mean, of frosting. I love the smell, I'm just not a fan of frosting or icing. I honestly feel with this formula that less is more because the more you tend to put on with this formula because it's kind of like a mousse texture it can be streaky if you've got too much product moving around it doesn't set down to be like um I don't know like any of Jeffrey's or any of the like uh, Maybelline matte inks or anything like that um I mean yeah it, there is going to be transfer I just love this shade and I love the way that it looks like I don't know, I, I love the grungy sort of dirty sort of grey toned purple so I really enjoy this one guys and um, I'll put the price on up here for you guys so this is one of my favourites but only really in autumn. This is Revlon Ultra HD Matte Mousse in the shade Death Valley. The next shade is this, or the next brand is this ALF sort of lip crayon. Um, it's on its way out actually, it's a little bit broken and it is in the shade T-Rose. I've got a fly in here. I don't mind this but ever since I found that Revlon um, Death Valley one I haven't been gravitating towards this. So I mean this is more like the matte version of that so hmm. I have a fly trying to join us. Guys, I forgot how much I really enjoyed this. I mean, I, I do enjoy that Revlon, but I gotta pay this more attention. This is the one that I used to put on underneath the um, the Clinique uh, Bear Pop. Um, yeah, it would completely just change it. I mean, I want to show you that in just a second. But this is the Elf um, T Rose in the lip crayon. I love it. I love. I love it. Let me show you what it looks like with that other shade over at the Clinique um, Bear Pop that I was telling you about. I mean, it's going to be a little bit different. I don't know whether you're going to like it or not, but I do. So here we go. I don't know if you can notice much difference. I do. I just think that it just brings a little bit of like. It takes it from a matte to sort of like a. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Can you see? Like, I absolutely love it. Maybe I'll do a side by side for you. I don't know. But anyway, this is the Bear Pop Clinique over the top of the ALF T Rose lip crayon. Alright, I'm just trying to speed things up a little bit. We have the Revlon. What are you? Revlon HD lipsticks. Um, these are really nice in the shade HD Vineyard 760. These smell good too. What are they? What do you smell like? Mmm, kind of like a tropical cake. I don't know, tropical and cake? Let's get this on. These feel fantastic, guys. I love this. This is one of my favorites. Mmm. Oh, I love the way that goes on. Mm. It just feels so silky, like it's, it's like, uh, there's got to be an oil in this because it just, it feels like a nice comfortable oil um, taste. 
it tastes like it smells. Um, I don't know, I just absolutely love this and I feel fantastic when I'm wearing this. This is another handbag lipstick that I like to carry around occasionally. Um, it's just so easy and um, the wear power is pretty much like anything else. It's going to come off if you eat and drink, but it is so comfortable. It is so, so comfortable. I recommend it. There are so many shades, guys. If you haven't tried these, get down and try them. They're f fly. Oh my god! <sighs> it's testing. <laughs> Alright guys, so the next lipstick I want to show you is a liquid lip by Maybelline. These are the Superstay Matte Ink formulas. I have three of these. I did have like seven, but mm, I was just trying to find one that matched my skin tone. And um, even this one here, I don't think it does. Um, I'm still making my mind up on it. But this is the shade 65 Seductress. I, I don't know why I don't want to get rid of this one, but I just don't. I think that's going to work somewhere along the line. Now, these, much like the liquid lipsticks from Jeffree Star, the Velvet um, liquid lipsticks, are very long-lasting. Um, they're just good. I mean, they're drugstore, but they're good. They will dry your lips out. Um, it will give you that, like, sucked on a lemon sort of thing. So I just suggest that you do what I suggested to you before with these exfoliating and the lip balm, and you should be right to go. All right. Hmm. Perfumed. Just got it on my nose. <laughs> Alright, let's go. That's about as good as I'm going to get it. Now, I'm going to talk fast because I really want to get this off before it sets. Like I said, it sets down to be completely 100% matte. It, gen it won't transfer once it sets down. Um, I think what I don't like about this is it's a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone. Um, I don't know, it just makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. Um, yeah, just the shade, not the formula. Um, what I'll tell you is it does take a fair while to set down. You will have that sort of lip sticking together tackiness for quite some time, but once it finally does set down, it's not going to transfer at all. It will stay on all day. It will look absolutely fantastic. They generally wear well, especially the lighter sort of shades will wear, wear off well. Um, now this one, don't go putting on two or three layers. Just don't do it. Less is definitely more. The more you put on here, the more likely you're going to get that disgusting, chunky, cakey look. It will. There's just no getting around it. I've tried these so many different ways and I generally will scrape off a little bit from the wand and I'll put on just as least amount as possible. And I mean, the pigment payoff in this is fantastic anyway, so you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, don't go putting on shellacs of layers, like just don't do it to yourself because it won't set down properly. Um, it's just going to be a disgusting mess. So this is the shade Seductress in the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. Alright guys, my lips are starting to hurt. So, <laughs> let's keep going. I've picked up this new bad boy from Maybelline. It is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. So, um, I guess what they're trying to say is the formula is a little bit like these, um, what I just showed you, the Maybelline um, Matte Inks, um, Liquid Lips. This is pretty much named the same thing, but it's a crayon. So, give you a little look there. It's a wind up, wind down crayon and on the bottom it has this little sharpener here so you can sharpen it to make it a finer point. Um, I picked up the shade 25 Stay Exceptional. I've only worn this twice. I really, really enjoy the way that it feels, the way that it looks. Um, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos where they're saying that it's got staying power that it's almost the same as the liquid lips. I totally disagree. I think that's... No, it doesn't. It has a tendency to come off um, on the inner lip a lot quicker. And um, yeah, there's no way that I would set and forget this. No, none at all. Like, it's a little bit better than your regular lipstick, but it's it's nothing like the liquid lips formula. Um, but anyway, let's move past this. I can't remember how much I paid for this. I'll put it on the screen. So let's go. Fly, go away.
All right, my swatches are getting bad, guys. <laughs> All right, that's as good as you're gonna get it. All right, so the formula is fantastic. Feels great on. I love the color. The price wasn't too bad. I think I got it on special. I think I paid $16.95. Hmm. I prefer 12, but still, I mean, look, I can't complain. I absolutely love this. This is, like I said, the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade 25 Stay Exceptional. Alright guys, another one of the Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. Uh, this is in the shade 15 Lover. This is one of my favourites. Um, it is a pinky purple. I think it's probably more pink than it is purple, but yeah. I love, I love this colour. Uh oh. I've gone outside the box. Alright, please ignore the errors that I have made. I'm trying to do this quickly because these guys, like I said, they set down, they set down fast. So, this is the shade Lover. Alright guys, the next one is from a brand called So Susan. It is a liquid matte longwear liquid lipstick in the colour Raisin Flesh. Um, also, I got this in a Bella box, so, hmm, I don't know. I don't love the formula, I don't love the colour, um, but I'm going to show you anyway. Alright guys, they're starting to get out of hand, these uh, lip swatches. It's not going to be perfect. Like I said, I actually don't like, I don't like the way that these go on, so that doesn't help. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not a huge fan of this. I don't know why. I guess the colour's not too bad, but I think because I really don't like the formula, I don't like the way that it feels on my lips, I don't like the way that it looks on my lips, I don't remember the price of it, but I probably wouldn't pay any more than $5 for something like this, so it's just, I don't know, it's, it's not something that I'm going to pick up. But anyway, this is So Susan Liquid Matte Longwear Liquid Lipstick in the shade Raisin Flesh. Alright guys, we're going to move on to another Jeffree Star liquid lipstick and this one I absolutely love as well. It's the reason why I brought anything from Jeffree Star to begin with. It, This is the shade Calabasas. So, let's get it on. I know you're probably thinking, Tanya, that colour is very, very similar to the one that you just took off. Why don't you like why don't you like that last colour? Well, I don't know. There's something about this one that I love more. I I, I love the long lasting, I love the formula, I love the way that it feels, I love the way that it looks. I don't know, there's just something different about this one in comparison to the one that I just tried on from So Fresh. Uh, so Fresh <laughs> from So Susan, sorry. So anyway, this is Calabasas and I absolutely love this and I would definitely pay the $28 for it and um, it's definitely going to stay in my collection. Oh, my lips, my lips are killing me. All right, so <laughs> we're going to move on to another one. We're going to move on to the other Maybelline uh, color drama that I was telling you about. The, um, I think it's So Chic, I think. Pink So Chic. So this is 110 Pink So Chic. So I absolutely love this. I don't wear it enough. I can't remember why I don't wear it enough, but I absolutely love this. So let's get this on. Once again, ugly looking stick because I can't sharpen it.
All right, guys. I think I remember now why I don't wear this one. Although I love the color, I really need to use a lip line note with this one because it just, mm. Anyway, I love, I love, love, love this shade. So this is Maybelline Color Drama in Pig So Chic. Feels so good too. This next lipstick is from Australis. It is the Girl Boss Love Velvet, Velvet Lip Cream in the shade Passion. So let's get this on. I wanted to try this formula. Um, hmm. I don't like the doe foot. I really don't. It's this square paddle. I don't know. You could. Anyway. <laughs> and um, I can't remember whether I like the shade. It smells like Hubba Bubba. Do you guys have Hubba Bubba? Mm, it's very pink. And it's very hard to put on. Oh, that uh, that paddle is really bad. It's on my tongue. You know what? I'm not even going to fix that. You can get a gist at the color. Maybe it'll f maybe it'll stay in your lips better than mine. I hate this. I, 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 I hate the formula. I don't mind the colour. It is very pink. But it feels like... Remember earlier I said that one of the lipsticks felt like it had an oil in it, but it was really comfortable? It was because it was like a kind of like a matte, but with an oil. This, this feels too oily. This feels like it's going to go everywhere. It's going to bleed all over the place. Maybe it doesn't. But I really don't like the way that this applied. I don't like the, the applicator. I don't like the way that it's sitting and the way that it feels. I don't like the fact that it got on my tongue. It's going to get on my teeth. I don't like this formula. So unfortunately, there you go. So this is Australia's Girl Boss Velvet Lip Cream. Doesn't feel like a cream, feels like an oil in the shade Passion. All right, guys, we're going to move on to another ColourPop one. This is a ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in the shade Soda Pop. I love the color of this, and I've only worn it twice, and there's a reason. I kind of like, it feels like, please excuse the background noise. Um, it kind of feels like a, a stain, but like a matte stain. It's, it's very sheer. I, I don't mind it, but I just don't wear it that often, so let me... Give it a go for you. Doesn't smell like anything. So, here we go. Kind of goes on wishy washy. put it on pretty bad now this this is gonna set down it's gonna set down like a mat but I don't know it's gonna be it's gonna set down sheerer so it's it's still gonna have the same color but it's not gonna look as pigmented it's kind of gonna look like um, faded lipstick you know like what a stain would look like after the lipstick had all worn off and you just got like a stain behind it and I don't hate that um, it's just I don't know I don't know, it's, it's not my favourite formula. I do like the shade, the swatch, the, the application is terrible. I do apologise. I do like this. I do, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to buy this again. Once again, this is Colourpop's Ultra Blotted Lip in the shade Soda Pop. Alright, the next one that I'm going to show you, it's going to look ugly. This is my favourite lipstick and it's a very sad story. Colourpop brought out their Disney line collection a little while ago and I picked up Belle. Now, it was the first time that I'd ever ordered online. I grabbed this girl. I fell in love. It's a matte formula, but it's like this comfortable sort of matte formula. I love the shade. My three-year-old got to it. He was two at the time. He got to it and he destroyed it. So my partner, without me knowing, went out and got me another one. And I was like, oh my god. I was... Anyway. 
Um, and I, so I decided I was not going to leave this one in my handbag because that's how we got to the other one. And I'm like, I don't even normally leave my stuff like that laying around, but this one particular time I did. So I decided I was never going to leave my new one in my handbag. I had it for maybe two months and then we were going somewhere special. Um, and I decided I'm just going to put it in my bag this one time because I, in, in case I needed to like, you know, fix it up after that. That's right. We were going out for dinner. That's why I wanted to take it. And we came home and I completely forgot and I shit you not about half an hour later, I'm like, where's, where's my son? <laughs> this is all I have left. It was a brand new bullet. I was so mad. I'm like, I'm not getting it again. I'm not, I'm getting it again. I'm going to get it again. Well, I hope I can get it before it, uh, is no longer available. So this is going to be a funny swatch, but I love this. I love, 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 love this. This is in the, like the Lux. I think there's like the Lux formula, so this is going to be a weird swatch. Please excuse me, I'll try my best. Oh, I love it. I'm not going to go too insane with the swatch, guys, because it's very difficult with this stick now. But there's a reason why I love this. I, I just, it makes me feel so good. I love this formula. I love this color. The price is fantastic. I can't remember what I paid for this. I don't know, maybe $8. I don't know, but I absolutely love this. Look at the packaging. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's got the princess's um, signatures on it. I've got two of these now, so I'm thinking maybe I want to scoop it all out and like, I don't know, I don't know. I shouldn't keep junk, but I love this. And I definitely want to get it again. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you straight up that this next lipstick I'm going to show you, I hate. I hate it. Um, <laughs> I got this in another Bella box. I really wanted the other color. It was like a dusty, rosy, mauvey sort of thing. But I got this one, which was kind of like, um, I don't know, orangey red. It's just not my jam. So this is the Wet and Wild. Let me see. I don't know. I don't know what this is. This is a Wet and Wild lipstick in the shade. What's up, Doc? Smells sweet. Like um, some sort of candy. I don't know. I don't like the formula. I don't like the look. The price is probably fine, but I wouldn't pay it. Just, just letting it out there. I mean, what is this shade? I don't know what to call this. Like, it looks orange. And then it goes on like this kind of like neon pinky orange. I don't know, but I don't know if you can see what I can see, guys. But it's streaky. It's streaky. It feels uncomfortable. I don't like it. I absolutely, I really don't like this. So this is What's up, Doc, in the brand Wet n Wild? All right, guys, I got four more to go, so let's zoom through these. The next one that I've got is another ColourPop one. This is the Ultra Glossy Lip, and uh -huh. I love, I just love the color of this. And I don't wear this too often because of the formula, but the color, I, I hope I can show you this and give it justice. I absolutely love the color. The shade is called Wolfie and wow, like wow. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to express to you the color of this. You're just going to have to look at it. It's like, it's like three different colors in one lipstick. It's just ridiculous. Like, mm, it's like a duochrome in a lipstick. Maybe not even a duochrome. Like what's, what's, what's three colors in one? <laughs> Triple chrome? I don't know. Multi chrome, multi chrome. Mm. My lips are a little bit stained, but it's not going to affect this. Oh, and I hate the brush. It's a brush. What? All right, guys, this is a horrible application. I apologize, but let me see if I can like move it around a little bit. 
can you see the color change like let me see yeah it's got it's like a purple but then it's got like this rusty color that goes to it like this rusty red and like this shine I don't know I don't know what I don't know how to explain this I'm terrible explaining things but I love this color I love what it looks like in person at least anyway um, I just the formula I hate the way that it applies I'm uncomfortable with like it feels like it's going to smudge outside my lip line it feels like it's gonna get all over my teeth I can feel it there um, it's just I'm um, yeah, I would definitely have to use a lip liner for this, but I wouldn't know what shade to use. But anyway, this is Wolfie from ColourPop. This is their Ultra Glossy Lip, and I really enjoy the colour. Alright guys, I've got another Revlon one for you, but this is the Ultra HD Matte Colour. Where, uh, yeah, where lip colour, whereas the other one was a Matte Mousse. This is in the shade... where is the shade? Addiction. So... Let's, I, I, I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I don't know if it suits me or not, but I love the shade and this is definitely my top five lipsticks. So um, I don't wear it as much as I want to wear it. it. Smells like cake icing again, but I love this color. I love the way that it feels on. I just don't know if it suits me, so I don't wear it as often. These swatches are as rough as guts, guys, because my lips, they are sore. Now, these aren't going to stay on all day. You are going to have to reapply them, but I think they're totally worth it. I love this. I love the colour. I mean, I've already told you, I love this. I love it. I can't, I can't express it any more than that. Like, love, love, love. <laughs> How many more times am I going to say love? I don't know. But anyway, this is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colour in the shade... Addiction. All right, two left. This is from L'Oreal Paris. This is the, um, I actually don't remember what line this is, but it's a brand new line and I picked up this color because I absolutely love the shade and people were saying that the formula was, absolutely, formula was absolutely fantastic. This is the shade 104 I Rebel and what I am going to tell you is, is I don't like the um, applicator. People are saying that they feel that the applicator is perfect because it's precise, but for me it just doesn't work that great. Um, mm, I've only worn this once. Um, yeah, I'll explain why in a minute. Hmm. Yeah, that's as good as I'm gonna get it. Now, once again, terrible application. And I feel like it's not only my inexperience of, or my experience of being able to put these on, but I don't know, it's just, ugh. I feel like it's the applicator in the formula. Although it might dry down, and once it does dry down, it feels absolutely fantastic. I, I don't like, um, the way that these apply, I think that it's definitely too wet. Um, I did shake it, but I love the colour. And once it does set down, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, but it's really difficult for me to put on. So it's not one that I generally gravitate towards unless it's like a special occasion and I need a shade that's this colour. I'm not getting rid of it. I absolutely love the colour. Um, I just find it a little bit more difficult than your regular lipstick to put on, including a lot of other liquid lipsticks. So I do love this. This is the L'Oreal Paris in I Rebel. And this is what it looks like when you take it off. So she definitely stains. She stains more of a pink than she does a purple. So hey, if you don't like the purple when you first apply it, maybe you like the pink afterwards. <laughs> All right, if I look funny for this last one, I do apologize, but that that's, that stained really bad and then I accidentally somehow got liquid lipstick everywhere else. So anyway, let's move on to the last but not least. This is another Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Ruler. Now, this is not a color that I wear very often, but for some reason I absolutely love, I love this. And um, yeah, let me give you a 
little bit of a looky. Like I said, remember, less is more with this guy. I'm gonna take off as much as I can. Here we go. Oh, this is swatching horribly. It doesn't normally. It's me, not the lipstick. Apologies for the application. I'm a mess. I love this colour. I love it. Um, I think it's unique. I love the fact that it sets down. What can I say? I really enjoy this colour. This colour, it's a little bit more purple um, than the Belle lipstick from Colourpop that I really enjoy. Um, but I still really love it and um, it's it's kind of funny because in some lights this pulls off like a little bit purple and, and other lights it pulls off a little bit brick red. It's hard to explain but I freaking love this colour and I don't know why I don't wear it enough. Probably because I apply it like this so um, I think I need a little bit more practice but I absolutely love this guys. This is Ruler. Well, me and the fly here I want to thank you very much for any support that you guys have given me. If you're interested in any more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate any input that you guys give. Feel free to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you didn't enjoy the video, that's perfectly fine. Give me a thumbs down, but leave a message in the comments so I can sort of like know exactly why, and then I can work towards making a better video for not only you guys but for my, my myself. So um, if you are interested in sticking around, go ahead, click that subscribe button if you're not already part of the family. But like like I say to everybody else, don't forget to check the bell so you can be notified of every video that I do put up. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video.